We want to see how the weather's doing. Everyone's going to be out and about today, it Absolutely. seems like, for Friday. And it's going to be a cold one when you're going shopping, <laughs> but the good news, no fog today. Yeah, no fog, so visibility is not an issue if you're heading out on the roadways. That's good news for you. We saw some people hanging out in the early morning hours. It was colder then. It still is pretty chilly now. There's a low cloud deck buck in the sun from us. 38 degrees, our current temperature. Wind chills still in the 20s at this point in Oklahoma City. We have your temperatures now. Now making their way up slowly. We have started to see some 40s along eastern Oklahoma, still seeing 50s in southeastern Oklahoma, uh, but now 40 degrees in Stillwater, still 34 in Guymon. We got winds from the north around 10 to 25 miles per hour. That's what's making our feels like temperatures feels like the 20s and 30s, even if we're in the 40s at this point. So this afternoon for your Black Friday, if you're planning your shopping trip, it's going to be 52 degrees, 51 in Clinton, Hobart and Lawton. But I know a lot of people want to know about the weekend rain chances. So your rain chances start to ramp up starting this evening, mainly in southwest Oklahoma, 70% chance of a scattered shower or two in Altus up through Hobart and Clinton. But the main body of the rain doesn't happen until overnight tonight. So we have the rain starting pretty late in Oklahoma City. I'll show you future next gen in just a second, but 40 degrees overnight. We have a low cloud deck again, and that rain is going to keep our temperatures from dropping all that much except for in northeastern or northwestern Oklahoma rather where the rain isn't starting till a little bit later. So there's our system. It's continuing to make its way to the north and east and we'll start to see more and more cloud cover as it gets closer and then eventually the rain will start of course as well. Here's, here's future next gen. So this evening, maybe a few showers in southwest Oklahoma, extending up through the panhandle possibly as well, but the main body of rain doesn't get here until overnight uh, Friday and into very early on Saturday morning. So Saturday morning looks to be quite wet. We have off and on rain all morning long. It's light at points, and then sometimes there's periods of heavy rain. I think the heaviest is along and south of I-40, at least for the morning hours. And then once you hit the afternoon hours that heavier band of rain moves through and we start to see some heavier rain along and north of I-40 heading into the nighttime hours of Saturday and then into Sunday morning. I think we're dry, maybe a few areas of lingering drizzle, but I think we're mainly dry for the day on Sunday. So here's your possible rain totals. I think the heaviest totals along and south of I-40 possibly seeing a few people above that two inch mark here in Oklahoma City. I'm thinking around three quarters of an inch to one and a half inches is what it's looking like from recent model runs. So tonight through Saturday morning, an 100% chance of rain, all of that rain really arriving uh, in the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. It's just going to be chilly and wet all day long. So in still water, it's going to be a cold and wet game if you're heading out for the day tomorrow. Kickoff is at 11 a.m. 48 degrees, our high temperature in Oklahoma City. Your rain chances for Saturday afternoon and into the evening hours. As that area of rain continues to move northward, we have a 100% chance for Woodward, Alva, Enid over to Stillwater and Tulsa. Your rain chances start to taper off in Oklahoma City, but still high chances for rain in the evening and nighttime hours of Saturday. So here's your game day forecast at kickoff. We're at 45 degrees, halftime 47. By the fourth quarter, we're in the upper 40s. It's going to be chilly and wet. The heaviest rain, I think, kind of happening in the morning hours, and then we're still seeing rain chances for the entirety of the game tomorrow. So that's just something to be aware of. If you're heading out, be prepared. So here's our first area of low pressure. Behind it, we have cooler temps, and then we warm up. Behind it, we're kind of on a little bit of a roller coaster because then another area of low pressure comes in with the cold front. That one doesn't have a lot of rain with it, but we warm up behind that as well and then Arctic air is waiting just to crash in at the end of the nine day. So we'll see if that ends up cooling us down after Saturday. So there's your nine day forecast the first day of December on Thursday. We're in the 40s at that point and then warm back up into the end of the work week next week.